Hey, Big Polly, you know Jimmy the Fish, don't you? Jimmy the Fish, yeah, he's the guy who likes going to the beach all the time. That's right, he said he went to the beach over the weekend. Huh. Yeah, he looked out into the water and he saw somebody waving his hand yelling, Help, shark, help, shark! Oh my God, what did he do? He told me he started laughing. He started laughing? That's terrible. Yeah, that's what I said, but then he told me, Come on, I knew that shark wasn't going to help him. Hey, how you doing? I'm Big Polly. This guy over here, he's Vinny Two Types. Hey, Don. And we are the Wise Guys, and we're here to bring you our award-winning show. We pick the winners. Where? We, we pick, pick the, the winners. winners. And I said women should not have children after 35. Oh, I agree. <laughs> 35 children are enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look who it is, Detective Mary Matthews and Private Investigator Esther Jones. Hey, Polly. <laughs> I had such a great time the other night. I had no idea you were such a great cook. Have a look at me, huh? <laughs> oh, so that's why you didn't show up for Thanksgiving. Too busy stuffing the turkey. Whoa, 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 Vinny, it's not what you think. I figured with your in-laws in town, you had enough on your plate. Look, don't get me wrong, I love Vinny's in-laws, but uh, you get them all together and add a baby in there, it gets a little crazy. So for Thanksgiving, I volunteered at the homeless shelter. I never expected to see Mary there. She's nothing like Vanessa. As a matter of fact, they're like complete opposites. Where Vanessa is soft, Mary is firm. Where Vanessa is delicate, Mary is strong. And where Vanessa is reserved, Mary is wild. <laughs> yeah, it's like the yin and yang. And you know what? I think I've had enough of the yin. And now, I'm going to hang with the yang. <laughs> Why don't you two take a picture? It'll last longer. Uh, You're just jealous. And the answer is yes. I would love for you to be my double date with Vanessa. I gotta admit, running into Big Polly at the homeless shelter was kind of fun. He's funny, very well read, and we talked for hours. It's amazing how much we have in common. Except I am Star Wars and he's Star Trek. I'm Daniel Craig and he's Sean Connery. I'm Irish and he's not. Come to think that the only thing we have in common is Vanessa. And that pampered Vanessa ripped out his heart and stomped all over it. And for that, she's going to pay. <laughs> I think I'm going to be sick. Yeah. Come on, tell me you don't have a special someone. Mm. Well, if you must know, there was this one guy. Mm. He was hypnotic. <laughs> I thought he could be the one, but it uh, didn't work out. I wasn't always this jaded. There was a time when I threw caution to the wind, you know, let it all hang out, so to speak. That was when I was head over heels in love and couldn't be happier. But then the cold hand of life slapped me in the face and my world came crashing down. I come to find out my special someone's not special at all. It was all a big ruse. He was playing games with my mind. Literally. So I broke it off clean, became a private eye, and haven't looked back. Well, except when I'm on a stakeout, you kind of got to look in all directions. So this is where the magic happens. Gaylord? What are you doing here? That's Dr. Dr. Gaylord Crane to you. I thought I had issues. All right, well then, Dr. Crane, what do you want? Vinny didn't tell you I was coming? What? I was kind of busy with the in-laws. Thanksgiving with the in-laws? Busy? Where do I start? First, I had to get little Anthony all cleaned up and ready to go. That means a bath, clean diaper, and try to get him into one of these onesies. Then... I had to do some last-minute shopping because Angie didn't get enough breadcrumbs for her stuffing recipe. You know, I had to go to four stores before I found one that was open. And then when I get back, they're already here. And believe me, dinner couldn't come fast enough. Maroon. Well, who am I kidding? Angie did all that. I just watched football and fell asleep on the couch. I'm here for you, Polly. Vinny says you need my help. Help? All right, Vinny, what's going on here? Don't talk to him. You're under my care now. I will help you with your various phobias. Mm. I just need you to concentrate. Mm. You're getting very sleepy. Very sleepy. Doc here's a professional. He's the one who helped me quit smoking. <laughs> Way to go! 
Looks like you're the same old Dr. Screw-Up. <laughs> Wait, this is your special someone? Sweet Esther Jones. The proverbial one that got away. When Esther and I first met, I was very dedicated to my work. I needed one more case study for my thesis on mind control, and then I could publish. The challenge is not having the patient find out they were being studied. This was very difficult, because we would have to spend so much time together. I must admit, I grew a fondness. Dare I say, love for her. But time was running out, so I applied an advanced technique that only three people in the entire world know how to do. I unfortunately am not one of them. I don't know what happened. It should have worked. Mm -hmm. Maybe if it's you, I need bigger watch. Yeah, maybe. Hey, is there anything you can do about him? Of course. Then I snap my fingers, you feel vague and feel refreshed. I feel refreshed. Why are you looking at me like that? Yeah, we'll talk about that later, but right now, we got a show to do. Huh? Okay, uh, girls, go get ready. Uh, your fantasy girl segment's coming right up. All right. Okay. All right. Well, this is going to be good, huh? Yeah. This is the part of the show we tell you all about the rest of the show. We've got all the things you've come to know and love, like that bust-out, bust-out game of the week. We've also got an ironclad lock, lead pipe cinch, personally picked whack of the week. And, of course, we have a fantasy matchup. And who helps us with a fantasy matchup? It's my favorite part. It's everybody's favorite part of the show. It's those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls! Never get tired of that. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Is no, it? no. Hey, right. fix some games. All right, these are the games that we agree on. We both agree that the Arizona Cardinals are going to destroy the St. Louis Rams. You got that right. Yeah. And we both like the Chicago Bears. Uh, the Chicago Bears all over the San Francisco 29ers. Yeah, 29, 19, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Uh, we both agree that the. Uh, um, I can't, I'm having Denver. a hard time. Uh, Denver. I couldn't read that. So. I, know, I know. We both agree that the Denver Broncos, after their convincing win last week, with the are, chosen one, you know, are going to beat the San Diego not so Chargers. Yeah, and it's cool. Close the short circuiters. Yeah, really. Yeah, yeah. And finally, and uh, we both like this team, and I, I it, it, it pains me, but I gotta say it. The Houston Texans with J.J. Watt over the Buffalo Bills. Although I'm sending you Buffalo a lot of RS, a lot of reverse psychiatrists. <laughs> it, it still starts with a P. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, we both agree that the Carolina Panthers will continue their winning ways mm -hmm. over the hapless New Orleans Saints, as long as they don't look past it. There you go. Yeah. And we both like the Kansas City Chiefs, who are playing some really good ball over another team that's put on the rise too, Oakland Raiders but we like Kansas City. Kansas City's on a streak. Yeah. We both agree the Pittsburgh Steelers should put it together and beat the Indianapolis Colts. They're they're the same uh, uh, um, same records, but uh, just looking for Pittsburgh they to do it. should have beat Seattle so last week. They yeah. should have, yeah. And we both like uh, the New England Patriots <laughs> and yes! Brady Boy Tom Brady. Oh, who doesn't like Tom Brady? Everyone yeah, likes okay. Tom Brady. Well, I don't like Tom Brady. Over the <laughs> Philadelphia Eagles, uh, what are they, uh, Flyers? I don't Philadelphia know. Philadelphia stinks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, and and finally, we both like the Washington Redskins to beat the Dallas Cowboys. Oh, Dallas mm. Cowboys. oh I didn't get yes. hit. Cool. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, those are the games we agreed on, and now the games we differ. Differ. I am taking the New York Jets over Vinny's New York Giants. Ooh. No, they're both home. Yeah, really. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's really. a home game for both of them. I flipped the coin. I, th I went with the better defense. I went with the better quarterback. There you go. All right. Yeah, and I like the Detroit Lions. That's right. The Detroit Lions over Paulie's Green Bay Packers. Oh. And the reason is, is Detroit's already beat them in Green Bay. Now they get them at home. Yeah, but Green Bay's playing a different ball now. Yeah, All right. Uh, I am taking the Miami Dolphins over Vinny's former Cleveland Browns. You're not going to say it? I'm not going to say Baltimore. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, looks like the doc had a good effect on you after all. <laughs> and I like the Tennessee Titans. That's right, the Tennessee Titans with Marcus Marinara. Toyota. Oh, yeah, him too. And all over Paulie's Jacksonville Jaguars with Blake Bortles. Yeah, there you go. Uh, you know, hey, there's a flip of the coin. I just feel like Jacksonville's got a better shot at this. I think Marcus, all right. Marcus is getting some good seasoning there. Yeah, he's going to be a great quarterback in the NFL, I think. So, all right, well, we're going to grab a beer. You should too. We'll see you on the other side. Take a look at these messages. Yeah, I'm going to have a beer. And we are back, and now it is time for our bust out, bust out game of the week. Vinny, two times, take it away. Okay, Big Polly, we got a good one here. Our bust out, bust out game of the week has the six and five Seattle Seahawks at the eight and three Minnesota Vikings. As Russell the Soccer Ball Wilson takes on Teddy Bridge over Troubled Waters at the TCF Bank Stadium. Okay, Big Polly. 
Who do you like? I like the Minnesota Vikings. They're playing good ball. Uh, um, uh, Teddy uh, Teddy Bridgewater is doing a good job yeah. uh, of controlling the ball, not giving it away. And they have Adrian Peterson. Yes, they do. Uh, I think this is going to be a good game, and I think it's going to be win effectively by the Minnesota Vikings, about 35 to 17. Good pick, Paul. Like that pick. Thank I you. like the way you think. Appreciate that. I'm also going with the Minnesota Vikings, okay? Like yeah. you said, AD all day. Mm -hmm. And Seattle's a much different team on the road. Mm -hmm. And Minnesota's at home, and they're also trending. I like the way they're playing. I like Minnesota. Uh, yeah, yeah, 54 to 3. There you go. All right. Hey, ladies, do you have an opinion on this game? Uh, 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 Detective Mary Matthews, who do you like in this game? Uh, you know what? I think I like the uh, Vikings in this game. Oh, yeah? Okay. Any particular reason why? You know what? It's going to maybe come down to a, a field goal. And I think that the Vikings has... They have a be much better kicker right now. Well, there you go. Yeah, that's very good. good. Very All right. Good. Hey, uh, um, private investigator Esther Jones, who do you think is going to win this game? I'm going to take Seattle. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Any particular reason why? Yeah. Well, I, I appreciate a Boyd who can swim. Well, that's just impeccable. Uh, the, the you, logic can argue with that. You, you can't argue with that. that. Can't. Yeah, all right. Well, there you go. That was our bust out, bust out game of the week. And now it is time for our ironclad lock. Lead pipe cinch, personally picked. Whack, Whack of the week. week. Oh, that's right. music to my ears, Big well Paul. Yeah, hey, I'm going to go first, Big Paul. All right, why don't you do that? It's yeah, unusual. My, my can't miss. Got to have it. Whack of the week. Has the 9-2 and two Cincinnati Bengals mm. at the 2-9 and nine Cleveland Browns oh. as Andy the Ginger Dalton takes on Austin Powers Davis mm. at First en Energy Stadium. Okay, Big Polly, let's review, shall we? That is your process. Okay. Nine and two, two and nine. Mm. Nine and two, two and nine. <laughs> what are we talking about here? Cincinnati Bengals are just a far superior team, mm -hmm. and and Cleveland's under what third quarterback now? Come on, it's not even gonna be close. I like Cincy in a blowout, eh, 104 to three. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't really have a problem with that. I, I feel yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's closer than we thought, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, definitely. Well, that was your whack of the week, and yeah. now it is time for my ironclad lock. Lead pipe cinch personally picked. Whack of the week. Oh, a gracious whack. Yes, indeed. Oh, very, indeed. Nice. So, very nice. My game features the 6-5 and five Atlanta Falcons at the 5-6 and six Tampa Bay Buccaneers as Matty Ice Ryan takes on James Winston. Jameis Winston. Cigarettes, really? I'm going to... Yeah, well, Winston, you know, so, so, yeah, so, yeah, so, I just think he's a better quarterback than that. And, oh, yes, he he's playing good ball. He's improving very well. And obviously, they're at Raymond James Stadium, so the ba the Buccaneers are at home. And I am taking the Buccaneers. Oh. I think they're playing better ball right now. Oh. Um, and uh, But it could be a very close game. I'm thinking it's going to be somewhere like 24-21. Oh, good pick. Well, Thank I you. like the pick. I'm Appreciate also going with Tampa Bay. Oh, that's a Yeah, because uh, they're at home, and Atlanta's not the same team on the road. No, they are not. All right. Well, that was... Uh, Ironclad lock, lead pipe cinch, personally picked, whack of the week. And now it is time for the fantasy matchup. And what is the fantasy matchup, you ask? Well, that's when you, our fans, send in your questions about your fantasy football teams. And those amazing, those beautiful, those intelligent fantasy girls answer those questions. Vinny, two times, what is this week's question? We got a good one, Big Polly. It comes from Sweet Caroline. Oh, from the Panthers, I yeah, guess. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And he says, hey, I got to pick between two running backs. I got Eddie Lacy or Jonathan Stewart. Help. Oh, wow, that's a good question. Ladies? Well, Jonathan Stewart, running back of the Carolina Panthers, has 832 rushing yards, four touchdowns against no defense. I'm sorry. New Orleans weak defense against the run. It's about the same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or Eddie Lacy, running back for the Green Bay Packers, mm -hmm. 513 rushing yards under his belt, plus two touchdowns, but he has no rushing touchdowns against Detroit, who he's playing this week. That's true, yep. Yeah. So, the obvious choice is... Jonathan Stewart! <laughs> These girls are good. They are good. Hey, I never knew that he could play football after we were on the uh, Daily Show. Yeah. Hey, go does. visit our website. We is uh, thewiseguys.net. That's thewiseguys.net. Wouldn't this look good on your table? The holidays are just a few weeks away. Yeah, look at all the swag you can buy. Yeah, yeah. And uh, stick around now for our video guest whack. Thanks, Wise Guys. And my Stone Cold Whack of the Week will be Chicago at home facing the San Francisco 49ers and their last place offense. Visit me at Half Moon's Picks on YouTube and thanks for having me on board guys. Take it away. back hey week number 13 we made it hey my week number 12 was like my week number 11 took my week number 10 and sent it into the future yeah we still went 50 50 i on the other hand went 10 and 6 yes the watch you sold me is defective do you have any bigger mm. good well i'm off where did you get that scarf you don't remember it was the scarf you gave me 
when we first met. Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, why don't you two take a picture? It'll last longer. I think I'm gonna be sick. All right, Get a room. He's right. Come on, I got a place right around the corner. I will be back, Polly, and I will have satisfaction. I got your satisfaction right here. Let's go. I'll be the same, Fraulein Mary. How many? That's one motivated private dick. Yeah, no kidding. Hey, what do you say we get the girl dancing here? Yeah, all right. Well, the music is playing. The lady is dancing. That means it's the end of the show, and it's time to say thank you to all the wonderful people that made the show possible. So first and foremost, we want to say thank you to those wonderful people at the Wacka 6000. That would be us. So thank you, Vinny Two Types. Thank you, Big Polly. We also want to say thank you to uh, to one of the most fascinating private eyes I've ever met, Miss Esther Jones. Thanks for coming by. Boy, she's got a lot of energy. Yeah, she does. Uh, we also want to say thank you to, I guess, Gaylord Crane. That's Dr. Dr. Gaylord Crane to you. Yeah, yeah. And of course, we want to say thank you to everybody's favorite part of the show. Those amazing, those beautiful, those wonderful Fantasy Girls! Thanks, wise guys! <laughs> uh, <laughs> I never oh, get tired of that. That's amazing. So, Well, Polly, 13 weeks in, yeah. and guess what? What? The officiating's getting worse. Yeah, I think what so. What is going on? NFL, you got to do something about it. We want to hear from you out there. Hey, what do you guys think? Fans, if you got something to say, put it in the, in the notes down here. We'd love to hear from you, right? And uh, um, make sure you get in your video guest wax. We love having you on the show, and we love you seeing yourselves on We Pick the Winners. Where? We, we Pick, pick the, the Winners! winners. That's terrible. Yeah, that's what I said. And you know, and he told me, he says, I knew that guy. He goes, come on. I knew that guy wasn't. Come on. <laughs> that's terrible. That's what I said. And he told me, come on. You need. God, I was almost there. <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, that's what I said. But then he told me, come on. I knew that shark wasn't going to help him.